this year, the city was expecting 135,000 registered fans attending Comic-Con, over $165 million in local economic impact, of which 90 million was gonna be direct attendee spend at about $700 per attendee just for the convention. The rest is many of the attendees stay in San Diego for a few days after to enjoy all the, what San Diego has to offer. And they would have held over 62,000 hotel rooms and generated over $3 million in hotel and sales tax. So it's a big loss materially to the city of San Diego. Additionally, it's also a big loss in terms of international reputation. Comic-Con gives us a little bit of an international cachet. There are over, um, many of these attendees come from all over the world. There are over 2,500 media that attend from over 30 countries. So it's a big loss for the city of San Diego. What the Congress should prioritize in this next stimulus package are four things. First, unemployment assistance. Secondly, supporting the cities and the states and the budget shortfalls they have in, in, in to be able to provide the kinds of services that are required. Third, support in helping uh, states and cities open schools. And, and then lastly, making sure that those smallest of small businesses are able to continue to, to, to be in business. Uh, there was an interesting study by Yelp that said just on businesses on Yelp, over 73,000 businesses since the beginning of, of the pandemic have basically gone out of business. What's important to note that in the month of May, for example, 6% of all U.S. income was unemployment aid. It exceeded the amount that people get paid through Social Security. This was uniquely responsible for the increase in retail sales in April, May, and June. You take this away, and not only from a business perspective are people going to struggle with, with paying rent, but also businesses are going to struggle because people will not be able to buy things at grocery stores, you know, at, at different retailers. So it's, it's going to be a major consideration. What that extra $600 does is it puts people above water so they could pay their rent, buy food, and continue to live. One economist did the numbers and they said, if you're able to continue these benefits till the end of the year, it will result in at least 1 million jobs being created because of the stimulus effect. And it'll provide peace of mind as families are navigating the, the, the coronavirus uh, pandemic and, and the recent explosion in cases. 